Yeah, let us continue the question in this video. In the previous video, that was uh, means the time limit was over. Now, let us continue here. Here, the question is in this way. A man covers a distance of 61 kilometers partly by foot and partly by bicycle in 9 hours. Speed on foot is 4 kilometers per hour and bicycle is 9 kilometers per hour. How much distance he traveled on foot and how much by bicycle is the question. Of course, this question can be solved with uh, pure mathematical way, the algebra method also. What is algebra method for this one? Simply, I am just giving you the idea. I am not going to explain that method for you. Now, simple way uh, with algebra, that is uh, distance traveled by foot. If you take that one as x, uh, distance traveled by bicycle is 61 minus x. Then you can frame one equation with that. You can get the answer. But now, I am going to teach you this question with the help of uh, allegation rules. We had a chapter of mixture and allegation. Of course, here mixture is not there as I have uh, given you in the previous video. Now, allegation rule we can use to get the answer. Within seconds, you can get the answer. How to use rule of allegation? To go for rule of allegation, we would know that one. I should have a mean value. Then, then one value here and other value here. Generally, we take if you talk in terms of the like commodities like rice, sugar, something like that. Here, dearer one, cheaper one, mean value. With price, I start. This is price, this is price, this is price. I can get the ratio in which these two to be mixed up. The same concept can be used for time and distance problem also. But here, instead of price, uh, which one shall I take now? Now, I am taking speed here. Speed on foot then speed on bicycle, then the mean value means overall speed I take. But one very very important thing here that when you are starting with the speed, always remember according to allegation rule, when you are starting with speed, you will end up the ratio of time. Very very important thing, right? When you are starting with the speed, will be ending up in time there. That is the simple shortcut here, right? Start up with speed. Apply the rule of allegation. You will end up in time there. How to go for this one? I am making it fair. So now, first, the mean speed is 61 kilometers covered in 9 hours. I am taking this one as 61 by 9. This is mean. Speed this is. All right. Next, speed on foot, 4 kilometers per hour. Speed on bicycle, 9 kilometers per hour. Take it in this way. Now, since I have started with speed, I should end up in time here. Now, the ratio of time on foot and time on bicycle. Now, the ratio should be taken in this way. This is 9 is bigger than here, bigger than this 4. So, this value is somewhere between 4 and 9. Now, it should be 9 minus 61 by 9. Now, it should be 61 by 9 minus 4. If anybody has any doubt, uh, uh, like still, you can refer mixture and allegation video 1. So that you can understand the basics very, very clearly. Now here, the ratio is, this is 81 minus 61, 20 by 9. And it should be 36. 61 minus 36 is 25 by 9. Now the ratio is uh, 20 is to, this is 25. Or 4 is to 5. But observe, remember, 4 is to 5 is the is not the speed ratio. Obviously, this is time ratio. After rules of allegation, you will end up in time. Now, 4 is to 5 is the time ratio. This is time on foot is to time on bicycle. 4 is to 5. Now, total hours are 9. And incidentally, 4 plus 5, I got 9. Means what does it mean? Here, the meaning is the person travelled, the person travelled, for 4 hours on foot and he travelled for 5 hours on this is foot 4 hours and bicycle 5 hours 5 hours on bicycle alright so now how much distance he travelled on foot distance travelled on foot is equal to speed into time speed is 4 kilometers per hour and time is 4 hours so that is 16 kilometers now Distance travelled on bicycle is uh, distance, this is uh, speed into time, speed is uh, 9 kilometers per hour and uh, time is uh, 5 hours. Now it should be 45. Add up these two, you must get 61. Hope you understood this one, right? This is the 
method of alleviation for time and distance problems there. All right. Next time onwards, when you get this type of bifurcation, two things are there. It is bifurcated into two. Definitely, I can use rule of allegation. Hope you got the idea, right? Thank you, friends. Thank you very much for watching the videos. First, you watch video one for this one. Means uh, that is uh, three questions have uh, written first. Then after that, continued by this video. Thank you very much. In the next video, I am going to continue the same chapter. time uh, speed and distance with more difficult level questions thank you